One of the perennial questions that people have thought about through the history of life is whether human beings are born good or evil. So, for example, in the Christian tradition, there's this idea of original sin, that we're born impaired and we have to be perfected through our works in life. Uh, so my lab has been looking at this question for a number of years through the lens of biology. Do we have a biological basis to understand good and evil? And we've shown over the last seven or eight years that many people do. We've focused on a chemical called oxytocin that our brain releases. We've shown that, for example, when people feel empathy, your brain releases oxytocin, and this affects your behavior with other people. So when people feel empathic, they release oxytocin, and we've shown that they're more generous towards strangers with their own money. We've also manipulated oxytocin levels, that is, we've infused this into human brains, and we can cause people to be more generous towards strangers with money. So we know that oxytocin is an important part of the system for good behavior, for virtuous behavior. So this week, in the journal, The Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a group of Berkeley showed that a particular variant of the oxytocin receptor gene was associated with the, the trait of empathy. So people who had this particular gene variant were more empathic. They were better at reading the emotions of other people. So this tells us something interesting. In our oxytocin infusion experiments, some people are more or less immune to oxytocin. So it could be they have one of these gene variants that doesn't make you as empathic. So we certainly see a large variation in empathy across individuals, and this new finding from Berkeley may tell us why. So what is this telling us is that we do have uh, the, the uh, biology of goodness encoded in our genes, at least most of us. These genes are certainly very sensitive to environment and to our developmental history, but in general, this is more evidence that oxytocin is an important part of this biological system that motivates moral behaviors and also why we see variations in these behaviors.